It's, I think, important to understand today that that term Asian American began, number one, as a radical project. It was not simply a kind of demographic title. Many people today might hear about how even the term Asian American came about in the early 70s. The San Francisco Third World Student Strike, activists getting involved in efforts to stop the war in Vietnam, efforts to support the black power movement. Because it was such a new idea, I think everybody was just kind of groping around like we just wanted to write our own stories and we didn't think it was going to become anything. But we felt that we needed to express ourselves. So I think when A4 comes along, that becomes the opportunity to create a kind of umbrella organization that can create unity. The Asian American Arts Alliance was born out of a need to capture the rich diversity that exists in Asian America. There were so many more Asian American artists that had come through uh, years of activism, creating their art. Uh, really, I have to credit uh, the Basement Workshop. The community itself was becoming engaged in a struggle for resources. And so the artists were um, able to look at the community and say, what can we do to help out? Sometimes I can't believe that we're 40. I mean, I feel like 16. I think it is such a huge testament to the resilience of this community. It takes artists and funders and art patrons and everybody to make this, this organization work and to support and to ensure that these artists um, can continue creating. The project that Jaden Wong Fellowship allowed me to pursue is called Bumalik, which is to return in Tagalog. And this practice is something of a personal journey of understanding what it means for a Philippinex American femme, such as myself, finding home and rootedness in the American diaspora. What art allows us to do is envision that future, envision ourselves, see ourselves in new ways and our relationship to the larger society and to the world in new ways. So during the pandemic, I think a lot of our community was feeling kind of helpless. Uh, a lot of people were feeling angry at the spike in anti-Asian hate and violence. And as artists, you know, sometimes we don't know where to start. Not just artists, but just citizens. What can we do to stop this? And so we created this program called What Can We Do? In the face of our elders, women, trans folks, children, experiencing violence, activates a kind of responsibility for artists, as well as creators and voices to push back against the system. It's critical that we know our history as Asians in America, as Asian American people. Uh, we are American, but our history is often neglected or stereotyped and not embraced. When we don't have opportunities to share our stories, somebody else will share them with their voice. There are worlds that we could be sharing, um, inspiring people, creating a safer and a better community. Representation is a matter of life and death. And we particularly see this d during the um, recent spike in anti-Asian hate. The lack of humanity that characterizes the way that Asians have been portrayed makes it much easier for people to feel, oh, I'm attacking a thing rather than a human being. If we invest in artists who are coming up today, then 20 or 30 years from now, we could see a world that is as transformed as the one that differs from when I was a kid. People don't want to live in a place that doesn't have the arts. And we need to support these organizations right now to ensure that they're healthy and they'll be here for 10, 20, 40 years.
funding in New York City for AAPI organizations is about 4%, while we are close to 18% of the city population. So it's extremely inequitable. It continues to marginalize these communities, BIPOC communities. What A4 does, specifically for me, is create the environment at which I can believe in myself, that I can enter a space and know that even though I may not see people who look like me in the space, that I am supported and that my voice matters. Organizations like A4 are pretty much critical to the continued growth and um, expansion in our artistic community. That's why it's important for AAPIs who have resources or all of us to find ways to support emerging Asian artists. I think it's so important that now is the time and so important for artists now, artists of every discipline to step forward with authority and agency of our own voice and our own narrative. Through A4, I was able to believe in myself. Through A4, I have benefited from finding opportunities and building community. Through A4, I was able to create and collaborate on my own terms. Through A4, I've been able to connect with like-minded folks, able to connect with other Asian American artists, I've been able to provide opportunities for contemporary South Asian artists. I became more proud of my Asian music. Get to learn about all the amazing things Asian American artists are doing in New York City. I was blessed with an opportunity to serve my community and to represent my Asian American identity through cinema. Through the Asian American Arts Alliance, I was able to nurture my own love of art. I was able to feel myself part of a larger community of AAPI artists here in New York City. Through A4, we can ensure that our community voices are heard, that our artists can continue to tell their stories, that we can continue to inspire ourselves and each other.